Today is February 24th, and I'm Derek O'Shea, and this is your One Minute News. D.C. Mayor Bowser's sister passes away from COVID-19. New research is showing Americans are more lonely than ever. So, locking people down and not allowing their kids to go to schools and not going to their jobs and not going out to eat and all that stuff makes people lonely? Huh. Thank God people are doing research on that stuff. Obama calls for reparations for black Americans because the wealth was built on the backs of slaves and says he couldn't do it because of the politics of white resistance. Uh, that being said, Obama's net worth is $40 million. Obama, what did you do to deserve $40 million? Oh, wait. Put kids in cages. American diplomats forced to get anal swab (laughs) in China for COVID tests, and they're mad about it. Well, you go to China, you get treated like you're not. A human being. Frasier announced they are going to be reviving the show, and boomers everywhere are losing their minds. Oh my god, Frasier, love that show. So funny, so intellectually funny, it's so good. If you don't think it's funny, you don't get it. Republican Majority Taylor Green and Democrat Mary Newman go back and forth outside their offices with little decorations, you know, about transgender and then uh, male and female. Yeah, that's right. Those are our adult leaders just going back and forth like children. It's adorable to watch. They can have their all, they can both have their little moments, just stir up their base. God, I just want to puke every time politicians do those stupid videos. Umo could... This is a tough one, okay? Umu Kenoti, uh, she's African-American, accused staff um, at Elite Smith College in Massachusetts of racism after she was questioned on entering a closed canteen for lunch on July 2018. And it ruined four lives of people that worked there because she said they were a bunch of racists, so she claimed this racist thing, and investigators did it, and they turned out it was fake. And their lives are still ruined, and they don't have jobs. And, you know, (laughs) this is what happens. You know, Jesse Smollett, whatever. But Wallace, whatever. You know, it's all an accident, right? But then people's lives get ruined, and and there's no repercussions for that. Game stonk. (laughs) Socks. Sword. Yesterday. I know a little bit this morning, but now it's dropping. Uh, Are you in game stonk? Cuomo, former staffer, accuses him of sexual harassment. Are we surprised? (laughs) I mean, does he not seem like a guy that's a total douche? Man builds gender reveal explosive device in New York and kills himself. (laughs) It's really sad, but can we just chill out on these gender reveal uh, devices that you know, are exploding and, you know, potentially killing you or starting fires in uh, California, all to just say, eh, it's a boy and let's celebrate. Uh, it's, it's so annoying. Hey, do you not have kids? No, I don't. That's why. Uh, and today in history, in 1964, I don't know why I do an English accent every time for a date. It just sounds more fun than 1964. 1964. Muhammad Ali, a young Muhammad Ali, knocks out Sonny, Sony, Sonny, Sonny Litston for the first world title. Were you alive during that time? Did you see that? Because I wasn't. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and enjoy your Thursday. I love a good Thursday. It's the, or as they call it, a Friday Eve. I um, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Be sure... To get your questions into me, you can uh, email me at the one minute news at gmail.com or you can comment on any social media post or you can just uh, send me a message on social media. I'd be happy to um, respond and you could be a part of the show for 
tomorrow's week recap. I'll try to do it live again. I think I got my sound working right. Technology is fun. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy your day. And uh, remember the, that the, the news, the news media is all about hysteria. And they want you to be losing your minds and not focusing on what's around you and maybe your local politics of what's really happening. Focus on your local politics. Get out of the mind of the president. Who cares? Uh, he can affect you, but not as much as your local politicians. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy your day. And um, maybe I'll change that. Yeah, he can't affect you with executive orders. Have a fantastic day. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this world is crazy.